And the first thing to touch on that's really important is that when it comes to identifying your customer advocates, they're not always the customers you think they're going to be. So when I was going through that referral chain earlier and showing Steph her original spend and then her ECR, there might be some people on the call thinking, that's great, good to know who's referring, but I assume the people spending the most are the people who refer the most, and so we've got them covered in our top spending segments. That's actually not the case. So we've done analysis across over 500 clients, and there's absolutely no correlation between how much someone spends with the brand and how much they refer. And so again and again, what we're finding is it's, it's genuinely customers like Steph that don't look valuable based on spend, that often are driving the most indirect revenue through referral. And that was absolutely the case with Huel. So to give some context on Huel's segmentation strategy, so Huel work with an agency right now that helped them identify different customer segments. And they base this on data such as um, data points on location, gender, lifestyle, things like that. So you can see on the screen some examples of the segments that, that Huel uses, and that really helps them target their messaging and engagement to make sure that they're tailoring that in the right way. However, when it comes to Huel figuring out where they were going to prioritize their efforts on which, which segments to spend most of their time on, previously what Huel did is they were looking at which of these segments have the highest lifetime value, and that was where they were focusing most of their attention focus on engaging and retaining. However, since then, what we've done is we've added advocacy data into this, and what that's done is it's completely changed the way that Huel views values of segments and which segments to be prioritizing. And just to visualize this, appreciate this is quite a busy slide, so I'm going to walk you through the graph in front of you. But on the left-hand side on the y-axis, you've got the lifetime value of those segments. And on the x-axis on the bottom, you've got the ECR of those segments. So ECR being lifetime value plus revenue driven through referral. So previously, as I said, who were prioritizing the segments who were spending the most with the highest lifetime value. So as you can see on the screen, the segments G, O, and H were the ones where he was doubling down on and focusing most of their research, research and attention on. However, because we've now landed on top advocacy data, we've now unlocked five key segments that, that he were previously overlooking. So all the ones you can see circled in pink. And the really key thing to show here is all of these people, all these customer segments, they're quite low on the LTV axis. So they're not spending a huge amount themselves. And so a lot of these segments of customers would have potentially been inactive or defecting. And so, as I said before, they wouldn't have been prioritized. However, what we can see on the x-axis is they are driving a huge amount of revenue just indirectly for referral. And so what this has done is unlocked hugely valuable customer segments that who were previously overlooking, they can now do a huge amount more with. And that's obviously really exciting for a CRM team like you who have lots of ideas on how to activate that.